Okay guys, well welcome back to the GT3 and today I'm going to take you through the specification of my car and also talk you through all the things I love about my GT3. So let's do it. I think the first thing we have to say about the GT3 that I'm loving the most is this incredible engine. You know, it really does plow on the rev so fast. I'm just so glad I spec the PDK box because it's the next gear, the next gear, the next gear. You know, it devours, devours the uh, the rev bounce so so fast. And having that PDK, just a quick click of the fingers, and you're into the next next gear. And that's really 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 impressive. And this box, obviously, slightly more. Uh, tuned up than the standard PDKs in other 911 so that's probably reason one uh, and the, one of the things I love about this car the most. The next thing I love about this car I think probably is the way it feels on the road. You are really connected to what's happening. All the undulations in the road, you, know, you go over a you know, manhole cover, the undulation in the road, you really feel it. The suspension really connects you to the experience as you're pressing on. So that's another reason uh, I absolutely love driving the car. The next thing I love about the car really is the way it feels when you get in it. Now I spec the full bucket seat so you know we're not going this way, we're not going that way because they really do pin you in and that's got to be taking bends quite quickly. But when you get in the car and you sit in the car you, know, you see the, real, the, uh, the roll cage in the back, you get the feel for the Alcantara on the steering wheel, you've got the doors, obviously on the seats and you feel like you're getting into a completely different car over and above 911 4S which I had up until the end of uh, 2017 so that's another reason that I really really love this car. But we're heading somewhere nice and picturesque, uh, nice little backdrop for a bit of a photo shoot, a bit of video on the car so uh, we'll be there quite soon. Another thing I really really love about the car is all the noise you get in the back. <laughs> now it's not just the engine but it just feels very very raw you can feel that gearbox go through the gears, the low speeds, it feels a bit clunky, it feels a bit sort of uh, you can feel the gears kind of you know working together as it go through as it goes through the gearbox. And it gives you that kind of feel that you're in a you know a really raw car and that's really really nice. Obviously it's not the same kind of soundproofing as a standard 911 so again that helps to connect you to the experience much much more as you're pushing on and you're enjoying the car. And maybe I've said before perhaps you know being in a Ferrari more of a sense of occasion when you're going slow but in this car it does feel a little bit like that when you're just driving it at sensible speeds and uh, just taking it steady and of course with the PDK gearbox uh, you don't have it in the standard you can have it in the standard setting um, you know it goes to the gears nice and gently you, know, you can almost think you're driving your class estate another thing I really love about the GT3 is that rear view mirror look now you've got to be careful because that rear wing gets right in the way of the line of sight as you're on the road. So as you're looking in your rearview mirror, sometimes you can't always see the cars that are behind you. Drop that into second there, just take this roundabout. Oh, that's lovely, that's incredible. But the rear view uh, mirror look, you get that rear wing in the back, and uh, it lets you know all the time that you're in a GT3. It's no garage queen, let me tell you. It's just so 
responsive. So responsive. Now one thing I can say to say, not about this car, but about just English roads, and these roads I'm driving on right now, they're absolutely rubbish. So, you know, write a letter to your MP, write a letter to whoever you like, but you know, these roads are absolutely shit. And they've got to get, got to get a brand new, you know. You're driving along and you feel like, you feel like you're on a, like a, an off-road course at times. It's absolutely terrible. Sort the roads out for all us motorists that like to get out there and have a drive. They've got a nice flat road with all these bloody potholes left, right and centre. You have to like go this way and this way and this way to avoid them. But anyway, one of the things that I really enjoy about driving the car as well this time of year, because I said before, it's not a garage queen car this. I love getting out all seasons. I've had this in the snow, I've had it in the icy conditions. And the Michelin Alpine Pilot tyres, Pilot Alpine tyres, are absolutely phenomenal. Uh, driving this car through Wales, two, three degrees, up through the mountain passes, no problem. I mean, didn't even wheel spin. I mean, absolutely incredible tyres. So you've got to hand it to uh, Michelin there for a tyre which you can put on this car and you can enjoy it all year round and that's something we'll be doing so uh, but I love driving the car in the winter months you get that low sun you get the sun coming through the trees you've got the sun coming on yeah, yeah it's really really good you get the sunglasses on you get out and drive that's what it's about I think that's what this car's about without any doubt so we are arriving at our destination one thing about this car which is very very handy when you come to places like this you get all these speed bumps the front axle lift just to you know lift the seat lift, lift the uh, front of the car up it's absolutely brilliant so it's, i'm glad that we've got uh, that option spec on this car because it's very low on the front but uh, i'm the front axle lift spec which we can now engage now you know what it really comes up quick as well you, you push that button it's up Really, really quick. And the other thing about this really, really good is that when you're finished, whoosh, lets this gas out, drops it down. Hi there, good morning. I am, I just gotta find my card in here somewhere on the line. It's National Trust, it's a great thing to be a member of, very cheap, but gives excellent locations to come to. Enjoy. Thank you. The car shoots like this. So let's get in here, let's do this shoot. Okay, well we've arrived at Dunamassey, the car's packed up, so I'm going to talk you through the specification. Other cars obviously standing still, we can focus on some of the things on the external part of the car and also go and go inside and look at the interior as well. The car look is absolutely stunning today in the sunlight. The uh, crayon colour never ceases to amaze me. It always looks different every time I see the flipping thing. But uh, so glad I specced crayon as a colour. So anyway, we're going to talk you through the car now, talk you through the options I really love about the car, the options I selected um, for my GT3. Discussed the colour before on a number of occasions and you know you look at the car from this side, it looks quite uh, a bit darker. We swing round to the other side with a bit more sun on it and all of a sudden it starts to look a, a lighter shade there, just on the rear quarter of the car. Get my shadow out of the way. but. Uh, looks a lot lighter on that shot on that on this side so the crown color was definitely the right choice obviously i went for the black satin wheels and the ceramic uh, brake system 
Loving the uh, black door handles, I think that sets it off really, really well. And obviously I've gone for the rear privacy glass, which is uh, on the back of the car. Um, some people say, you know, kind of spoils the look of the roll cage inside, but you know, when you come up close to the car, you can see inside and the roll cage is able to be seen. Um, the door handles matching really, really well with these end plates on the spoiler, which really, really nice. And then also I went for the carbon, the carbon mirrors which are here so a nice kind of light light on uh, you know light and dark look nice contrast which I really really like so that's what I went for those carbon mirrors also the LED lamps now you can go for LED lamps but I went for the black surrounds and helps it to look that bit meaner obviously with the black detailing on the front splitter and just below those lights which are on there again sets the car off really really well the LED lamp it's really really nice because you've got that circle which shows up really really nicely when you're on the road and I really, really like that and that's the main reason I went for LED lamps but I have used these LED lamps these LED lamps in the dark on some twisty stuff and they are very very impressive they really do illuminate the road ahead so I'm glad I went for the LED lamps thumbs up for those certainly from an exterior standpoint I don't think there's any other options I went for really but uh, if I think of one, I'll come back to it. But uh, another option which obviously people really, really like is the, just inside here, you've got the, the aluminium look filler cap. And when you take this thing off and you're refueling, love putting fuel in this car, so I've got miles and miles to enjoy it. It just sits in there and uh, that's quite good. So that sits in there. So as you know, it had the paint protection film on the front. So as you can see with this video, um, you can hardly tell it's there. Um, so that's really on the outside, these carbon summit brakes. One thing I will say about them is, if you're not using them much and then all of a sudden you need to put them on quick, they do need a bit of warmth in them, to be honest. But when they're warmed up and you're using them, they've got some amazing stopping power, tremendous stopping power, and you come to a halt pretty quick. So I'm glad I've spec them. Just love that center lock wheel, GT3. So love it. So let's head inside and we'll talk through the specification that I went for on the inside. <coughs> Excuse me. Because I think I went for about £28,000 of options on this car. And you kind of look at it and thinking, where did all the money go? <laughs> but anyway, we'll, uh, we'll have a look inside and, uh, and talk you through the options. Okay. Well, the first option I went for on the interior was a nice sound system. So. I went for the Bose uh, speakers and I do enjoy my music, although when my daughter's in the car, she'll be featuring very, very soon, my youngest daughter, because she really loves this car. But uh, the Bose speakers really give it, <coughs> the uh, Bose speakers really give an excellent sound. Um, great bass. The other thing I went for on the car, on the interior, is a little bit more Alcantara on the door here. So you've got more Alcantara here and on here, and that was an option I went for. Obviously I've gone for the carbon look, so we've got the carbon interior pack that's right along the sides of the doors. And the other option I went for was the red stitch, which you can see there is on all of the interior. It also features on the seats, so we've got the red stitching on the seats. And I went for the red, um, the red stitch. So I could also go for the red Santa GT3 logo. Now all of the uh, steering wheels in a GT3 are all the same, so there's no option on the steering wheel. But uh, one thing you can have on the steering wheel is this red uh, marker at the 12 o'clock, and I went for that. I would have liked to have had maybe the option to have a different colour, and maybe go for a different colour stitching, maybe yellow to match some of the other calipers, but I decided to go for the, uh, the red because the deviated coloured stitching was mega expensive, and didn't think it was worth it really. Another reason, uh, I went for the red uh, stitching is because I love red dials and I mean these dials are really really stunning I really like these dials Perhaps you can just turn it on slightly you can see that as it illuminates um, but uh, yeah love those red dials obviously you get the uh, navigation unit that's all standard GT3 so you get um, the map switch that on for you. you can see that 
So you get the standard map, a navigation system, which is really, really, really useful. And I love the touch, I love the touch screen. I absolutely love that. It's really, really nice. Just reset the radio off. There we go. I also went for the red chrono dial. Now the chrono dial matches obviously the main dials on the car and uh, again looks really really nice and every time you get in your car and set off that chrono begins to tick. So these buttons here um, you can program there with the home link system and that helps me to open the garage door get it up and down so you don't have to get out or use the manufactured button it's a lot nicer to have it fitted into the car. Also went for the Alcantara sun visors so these sun visors of Alcantara on them, so the standard leather, which is quite nice. I should take that sticker off here, it looks a bit out of place right there, doesn't it, really? So they're all uh, Alcantara. The yellow seat belts really set the car off inside, I think. And it's a third colour option inside the car, I know that. Some people would have probably said go for red seat belts, but um, I really, really like uh, the yellow seat belt. I think it looks really, really good from the external perspective as you're looking from the outside in, see the car on the road, you don't see the red, you just see the yellow on the calipers and the yellow over the shoulder on the seat belts, that's really really good. So really really like that. Another option that I really really like is the centre console here. Now I went for a, I can lift that up there, I went for the Porsche Crest and the reason I went for the Porsche Crest on the centre console is because on the top of the seat here you also get the logo, the Porsche logo, so that matches in really really nicely. Into the back of the car, well, you've got the, the climbing frame for the girls or the no-cost option club sport pack. And I think, you know, having a GT3, knowing it's going to be going on the track, um, yeah, it's just something I think you've got to spec in the car. Some people don't put it in because it means, you know, you've got a bit more room and behind the seats. But because I went for the full bucket seat, um, in the carbon fibre full bucket seat there, you know, it's not. It's a car that will do longer journeys, but you know we're going to have a, you know we're going to have a support vehicle coming with us when we, when we hit the hit, hit Europe. So that's going to give us lots of comfort. And I bet you can't wait to see the car, <laughs> the support vehicle when we bring that to you. In June, we have a trip in June planned to Le Mans, French Riviera, and the Alps. So we're looking forward to bringing that content to you later. And I absolutely love my favourite eyes, which my brother bought me. So uh, yeah, inside um, the car has got all the kit that I wanted. I love the satin black on the on, on the on the seats where those uh, racing belts come through. This is just here, um, and the carbon fibre too because it matches in so well with the interior of the car. The centre console having that in, obviously carbon fibre having it across here where the drink holders are and then obviously again on the steering wheel here because this is in a, a nice uh, satin black colour. Another option I went for was the full leather dashboard trim so if you can see that but it's all leather up there not just the plastic and you've got the red stitch again which matches in with the um, matches in with the red stitch that's throughout the interior of the car so that's a really really nice touch. We've got the DAB option on the radio so I've got crystal clear AM reception. So the car it is beginning to get run in now obviously with the 1235 miles it's now covered. Okay, This is a car which is going to get used and I'm really going to enjoy bringing the content to you when I'm using this car. Uh, but 1200 and 35 miles on the clock. I <laughs> just really, really, really love driving this car. Any opportunity to get to drive it, let's just do it. Let's just drive it. Let's just enjoy it. One of the things I really like about the Porsche interior as well on the doors, to show you this, is this little compartment here. So I, I keep my keys in there, the key case in there. And there's quite a bit of room in there actually, it's quite handy. And then, whoops, getting away from me. Shut that. And then I normally just keep something and I keep my wallet in there. I'm driving along, I've got my phone in there at the moment. But again, a little bit of space in there just to hold things up. Another uh, thing I've already talked about is the PDK. And this gearbox is absolutely 
incredible it's so special it really knows what gear to be in in the auto mode and you can have a nice more relaxed setting when you don't want to be you know holding the gears as you're pushing on so it can be relaxed it can be fast really um adjusts itself as to your mood of driving that you want pdk sport that just brings the uh the rapid fire gear change through holds the gear more obviously sports exhaust loving the shark works big shout out to those guys so glad for miglio gave that uh, shark works unit in and fitting that and obviously this front axle lift you just push this button and then it lifts it up and uh, haven't really tested these two uh haven't tested these out yet but you've got your esc that's the stability control program and then one below that the esc and tc off haven't uh, haven't tested those out, no traction control, no stability program, mm, not sure this time of year it's a thing to be doing. So uh, yeah, just an absolutely incredible car, just enjoyed every single mile I've had this car. The only mileage this car has done that I've not been in it driving it is the first eight miles, so I'm uh, really, really enjoying it. And there's plenty more ahead, and we're really looking forward to bringing that content to you in the future. So long to Dunham Massey. It was an absolutely wonderful shoot today. Really, really enjoyed it. Um, it's a fabulous location to come to and do a shoot on a car. Beautiful location, beautiful car. As you know, I'm loving this car so much. Got some really good adventures ahead planned on driving ventures. So, hope you've enjoyed today's video on the specification and all the things I love about my GT3 because this engine is absolutely amazing. So don't forget to subscribe, hopefully uh, comment as well. Um, we're getting a few more subscribers now, more and more people watching us, so don't forget to subscribe, get the notification button on. So next time we do a video, you'll know it's there, obviously enjoy it. So we've got some good stuff planned coming up in the not too distant future. But I'm now behind a tractor, so I won't be going very, very fast. So I'm gonna sign off for now. Thanks very much for watching, I really appreciate the support, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.